गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू फिजिक्स वर्ल्ड सो फार यू हैव लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज मोशन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन एंड द डिफरेंट फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज इन्वॉल्व इन दैट मोशन एंड देन इफ यू वांट टू मूव अ बॉडी हाउ डू यू मूव यू गो टू अ बॉडी एंड यू कूडेंट से दैट ओके बॉडी जस्ट स्टार्ट मूविंग रिपीट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मूव अ बॉडी यू कॉन्ट से दैट you can't say that body he can move then what you have to do take an example you are in the football ground and you want to move the football what you do you kick the ball that means you have applied a force on the ball to make the body to move so this example tells you that any body any body wants to move you have to apply the force on it so today our topic is to know about force and the laws behind that so i am starting the next chapter chapter 3 laws of motion long long ago there were three scientists arguing that what is motion and how a motion is described so in that row the first scientist was aristotle Aristotle is very old and famous scientist mathematician philosopher he teaching the classes to his people one of his student asked that how a body is moving why this body is rest then aristotle told that don't think about the bodies which are at rest there is no meaning for that and any body is moving say a stone is rolling on the ground it is only because the nature of the stone it is rolling on the ground nothing else and this nature was provided by god so god created the rules because of the rules some bodies are moving some bodies are at rest that was aristotle's answer this is very philosophical answer not scientific one and later we had another scientist and he was galileo galileo also researched so much about motion and he described that everybody wants to be in rest or wants to be in uniform motion and is only because of a property called inertia so inertia is the word given by galileo only but that answer also not completely satisfied to the people later we got another scientist who was very famous in his time and today also we say that he is the one of the legend in scientific history and he is none other than isaac newton he was great mathematician and physicist he was the first scientist who introduced force he told that each and every body is in motion or it is at rest because of force if you apply the force on the body if the body is at rest it comes into motion if the body is in motion it comes to rest so force is the ultimate factor there which will change the motion of the body so from that point onwards from that day onwards from that moment onwards we agreed newton's concepts and today also we are using newton's concepts in each and every uh, each and every place where we want to describe the motion so today's chapter name is laws of motion described by isaac newton okay now let us discuss about two things in this chapter in this ch chapter one rest and two motion so what is rest and what is motion rest is defined as if any object you take and this object is not changing its location with respect to time then we say that that object is at rest for example take a ball it is at a point a and you are observing the ball at a point a for a long time for 2 hours for 3 hours for 1 day for 2 days 3 days then you say that ball is at rest so rest state can be defined that if that location is not changing with respect to time but if the location is changing with respect to time then what it is called it is called motion 
say the same ball initially it is at a after t equal to one second now it is at b and uh, after t equal to two seconds the the ball is at c so for different timings the ball is changing its location a to b b to c then we say that the ball is in motion okay so the body which is not changing its location with respect to time then it is said to be at rest the body which is changing its location with respect to time then we say it is in motion okay we understand but one point you want to understand rest and motions are relative i think you heard this word in the previous chapter yes rest and motion are relative relative means for one observer if the body is at rest for to the another observer the body is in motion in the last chapter i have given example of uh, two passengers traveling in a bus and, uh, and there is an observer standing in the road side and observing the bus and take another take another example here suppose we are are on the earth and we feel that we are at a rest state suppose i am standing here and you are looking at me you feel that i am at rest state and i am also feeling that you are the rest state and watching this video so each and every one we can say that we are at rest on the earth but if you if you have observer in the planet mars then that observer do not feel that we are at rest because according to planet mars the earth is rotating and we are also rotating with the earth so according to that observer we are in motion so according to us we are at rest but according to the observer on the mars we are in motion so that's why rest and motion both are relative for one observer it is rest for to the another observer it is in motion